Hi guys, welcome back. In this section, we will quickly have a look at the Explorer tab. As I have already told you that Explorer is the place where you get to experiment with your visualizations without having to actually disturb the original report. But let's see how to actually use it. Click on Create and click on Explorer. Select a data source. Let's see, we want to use the same data source that we are currently using to create our first GDS report. The Explorer starts with the default visualization. Let's say, let's add another chart. Let's add a pie chart. The structure of this page is kind of same as we see in creating a report. There are the charts, there is a data style. We want to see some more space. Uh, you have all of these and kind of the same structure that we have seen in the report section. You can add charts from here, but you see there are limited things over here. You just can add a chart and add a community visualization. All right, let's see. I want to edit this, edit this chart. Uh, I want to use the matrix of price per product and set the dimension as state. Okay, looks like a neat visualization. Let's uh, use these two visualizations and let's add it to our existing report. Now, how to do that? All we have to do is first name this Explorer. Let's say we want to save Explorer 1. Then we go ahead and save it. Once you have done that, click on share. It gives you two options. Create a new report or copy to existing report. If you create a new report, Google Data Studio opens a new report with these two visualizations already added to this new report. And now you can start editing this report as you usually do in your reports. In the other option of share, we have copy to existing report and share. If you click it, it says components copied. Now all you have to do is go back to your, any of your report. Okay, go to reports, use my first GDS report or any report that you want these components to be added. Go to the edit mode, click on editing and click on paste. Let's just create some space for this. Click on editing and paste. Here you go. These two charts that we have tried as an experiment in our explorer mode are both of them here. Isn't this a really interesting feature in Google Data Studio that lets you actually work on some visualizations without having to edit or modify the existing reports and if you really like it, bring them into your report and start using them. So this was explorer. Let's continue further on creating reports and adding charts to our reports. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching the video and welcome to my channel. This video was a part of the complete course on Google Data Studio. The link for which is in the description. Do not forget to check it out and enroll today.